As we've discussed in the past, the careers of SoundCloud rappers have been slowly losing steam for years. Some say the audience grew up, others suggest this era was merely a fad. Recently, we talked about the likes of Little Pump and his sidekick Smoke Perp going out sad. Though I will note, I would much rather be Little Pump than Smoke Perp at this point. At least Little Pump can still use his name to keep money rolling in through dirty schemes like Pump's Playhouse and shilling NFTs in crypto, aka the irrelevant rap starter pack. At this point, I don't think Smoke Perp could even land a spot on Love & Hip Hop with his irrelevant ass. I'm sure you guys remember the man had to leave and cancel a couple of his shows after he was embarrassed by the size of the crowd, merely days after he said he was destined for a massive comeback where he would even do things like win a Grammy. Someone who I would relate his career very close to is rapper Little Xan, at least when it comes to dropping off the cliff of relevancy. I mean, at least this guy kind of lit his own fire fire instead of riding someone else's coattails, so I do have a little bit more respect for him, but still he is broke and making a fool of himself in 2022. A couple of months back we talked about the fact that he was out here trying to ruin his former manager's reputation and basically play the victim and act like the downfall of his career was anyone's fault besides his own. You already know if there's one thing I can't stand it's a person who cannot take accountability. As a matter of fact I would say it's one of the defining characteristics for prolonged success. And I'm not even necessarily talking about publicly taking accountability. I'm really talking about personally holding yourself accountable in your own head. Someone who is not able to self-regulate and reflect on when they fucked up is destined for eternal conflict and self-destruction. Because when you're always making excuses for yourself, it's basically taking the easy way out. And I think that behavior is taught very early on by a person's parents. Everyone remembers the kid who could get away with murder because their parent told them they could do no wrong. It's either that, or they had the type of parent that didn't give enough of a damn to discipline them. And that is exactly who Little Xan has grown up to be. And the saddest part is that he's now bringing other people down with his sinking ship. Much like his contemporary Smoke Perp, he was recently set to try and tour for the first time since Corona reared its ugly head. As far as I understand, he planned to tour with several bands, including one in particular who goes by the name The Dropout Kings. Which is ironic because after the first show, Little Xan decided to drop out of the tour and not tell any of the other acts. And keep in mind, guys, Little Xan was branded as the headliner, so this obviously made all these bands, including the Dropout Kings, very upset to be left in the dark and more or less abandoned like this. And so their lead man shared this Instagram post saying, Due to Little Xan dropping off the Born Dead tour, tonight's show in Tampa, Florida at Brass Mug is cancelled. We were told tomorrow's show in Jacksonville was cancelled as well. We are trying to save any show we can and perform for you all. Straight up, fuck Little Xan 100%. I don't even care. Dude is a total piece of shit for doing this to all the artists and staff involved in this, decide to do this to everyone after everyone already had left for tour, then doesn't show up to his set for So What Fest. To which Little Xan responded by saying, I dropped off the tour because your management and booking agents were taking advantage of me. Your team dropped the ball. Your team did not have any accommodation to travel or anything a tour should. You just wanted to promote your homies under my name and we tried to work it out but your team is obviously new at this. If you guys were smart you wouldn't burn bridges like that and act like you had the tour plan right but have fun on your fuck Little Xan tour. And that message is simply rich coming from this guy who burned ties with not only his old manager but also his friend Adam22 who were both very instrumental in his success. I remember I went and I uh, was hanging out with him and his former manager Stat Quo and it was right before South by Southwest and um, he had some shows booked and it's I don't think that they were like paid shows or they're like pretty low paying shows you know and uh, Stat was saying like we gotta go tomorrow we're going to South by Southwest and Lil Xan was like fuck that I make money online every day I don't gotta do that shit if you don't go it's gonna be really really bad for your career and he didn't give a fuck and I mean that's just not how you become a popular artist and I remember him telling you hey this is a genius concert like they book to you and if you don't go to this shit then they're never gonna fuck with you again. And guess what, you didn't go. And now I'm sure Genius probably wouldn't do anything for you. You gotta be real with yourself. You gotta stop playing the victim because this shit is not cool. Now you're dragging a good dude's name through the mud. He doesn't deserve that. It's just, it's super fucked up. 
And quite frankly, no one gives a shit about your bridge, little Xan. My guess is what actually happened is they were probably marketing him like he was going to be able to sell at least 300 to 700 tickets, at least based on the venues that he was set to perform in. And when they went to the first show and barely anyone was in the crowd, they decided to pull the plug to avoid a smoke perp situation because the visual of that empty crowd can be even more damaging to an already floundering career arc. Overall, this guy is a modern day bozo the clown, just like a lot of these other SoundCloud rappers. And even worse, he is ruining opportunities for other artists and most likely taking food off the table. I mean, y'all know how it is these days, guys. You step outside and you spend a hundred bucks like nothing. So this was a pretty fucked up thing for him to do. But y'all let me know what you guys think about this situation down below. As always, I do want to thank you guys for watching and subscribing today. And as you guys know, there's some other washed up rappers out here that need to get covered. So it's Benny Boy, Tan Superman, and I'm out. Peace!